This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Tuesday, April 5th, 2016. Euro dollar. So signs of exhaustion with the euro rally after the market stalled out by fresh 2016 highs at 114.38 the other week. At this point, though, we need to see a break back below Friday's low at 13.35 to strengthen the possibility for a bearish reversal and acceleration back towards next key support at 111.45 further down. Until we see a break below that recent low at 13.35, the pressure still remains on the top side and we could see fresh upside beyond 1438 and towards some medium term resistance at 115 further up. Sterling dollar. So cable has been consolidating off recent lows, although the market remains confined to a broader downtrend, and a break back below 140.53 will do a good job of accelerating declines towards a retest of the recent seven year low at 138.36. At this point, it would take a break back above 145.15 to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Dollar yen. So dollar yen is getting a little bit exciting into Tuesday with the market breaking to another fresh multi month low. This break does open the possibility for an end of this bearish consolidation over the past several weeks, which would open a measured move downside extension all the way down towards the 10650 area. At this point, though, we would need to see a close below 11067 to increase or t- uh, to, to improve the prospect of that fresh downside extension, while inability to close below 11067 would suggest that the market is still confined to a bearish consolidation and could be poised for more of a bounce within that consolidation. But ultimately, it would take a break back above 114.87 to take the immediate pressure off the downside in dollar-yen. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has been confined to consolidation in recent trade, though the market retains a broader recovery st- outlook and is favored to break to the upside over the coming days and weeks. At this point, a break back above 110.24 would strengthen this outlook and accelerate declines back towards the recent multi-month high at 112 further up. Setbacks should be very well supported down towards the 108 area, with only a break and close below 108 to compromise this outlook. Aussie dollar. So signs of a reversal in Aussie after breaking to a fresh 2016 high in the previous week at 77.23, though the market would need to take out 74.77 to confirm and strengthen this bearish outlook and accelerate declines. Back above 77.23 would open the door for fresh upside towards next key resistance at 78.50. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD is finally showing signs of basing out, and the market could be putting in some form of a double bottom with a break back above the neckline at 132.96 to confirm and expose fresh upside into the 137s. At this point, though, while we hold below 132.96, the price pre- pressure remains on the downside, and we could see a fresh break down below the recent lows at 128.58. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has come under some intense pressure after breaking to a fresh 2016 high at 69.67 the other week, though the market does have some strong medium-term resistance up towards 70, and it isn't that surprising to see the longer-term downtrend remain intact, with the market being capped up towards and above 69. At this point, there is risk for deeper setbacks towards next critical support, which comes in at 65.46 further down. But a break below recent lows that we saw at 66.68 would be required to strengthen this outlook. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 is finally stalling out after posting a fresh 2016 high at 2080, but it will take a break back below 2021 to strengthen the outlook for and the prospect for a fresh medium-term lower top and acceleration to the downside back towards the February low at 1808 further down. At this point, only a close back above 2100 would compromise the prospect for a medium-term lower top below that record low in 2015 and put the pressure back on the top side. Gold. So gold continues to be very well supported on dips down towards 1200, with previous resistance now turned support in the 1190 area expected to, to prop any additional declines. At this point, look for this consolidation to eventually lead to a break to the top side and for a retest of the 2015 high at 1307 further up. Only back below 1191 on a close basis would compromise the constructive outlook for gold.